What if I have an Excel file that I need to edit with somebody else in Google Docs? Well, save the Excel file and close it down, then click on Upload, Files, and go find that Excel file. Then Google will upload it and convert it into a Google Doc. Now I can open it up and share it with my classmates or my teacher so that we can work inside of it in real time. What if I have a Google Doc that I need to convert into an Excel document? Well, let's create a new spreadsheet. Give it a name. And now click File, Download as Excel File. Now I can open it up right inside of Excel and use all of those great features that Excel has that Google Docs hasn't implemented yet. My favorite feature of Google Docs is the ability for multiple students to work inside the same document at the same time, no matter where they're at physically. Here we have Sam the Beagle joining Garlic, and he's going to type in the Chapter 2 review at the same time that Garlic is typing the Chapter 1 review. They even have a chat window along the side so they can discuss who's responsible for what. This collaboration is handy for when students are in different classrooms or when they want to work after hours or from home. Now let's say Garlic goes back to edit later that evening and realizes much of his text has been deleted. That's okay. He can go to File, See Revision History to look at past versions of that saved page. In the morning, he can see that orange text that he typed is still there, but it looks like after Sam saved it, the strikeout indicates that Sam deleted a bunch of Garlic's text. That's not good. Well, it looks like Sam added some stuff too there, so let's just copy this, go back in time to the earlier version, restore to this version, and paste in Sam's. There, now we have all of our information just like was originally intended. And if you're looking for a way to make your students interested in spreadsheets, have them make a Google Docs form. It takes the results and makes a spreadsheet. You can do text, multiple choice, etc. So I'm gonna make a form now and speed it up a little bit. I'll see you in a sec. At the bottom of your form, you'll see a URL or a web address. You want to copy that and paste it wherever you want people to find your form, like an email or even on your Google site. You can go edit your Google site and add some text, highlight it, and click on the word link in your toolbar. Go to web address, paste it in, and then save it. Now, people that go to your Google site can click on it like this and go fill out your form. If you'll notice, I use numbers for the answers to my questions. That way I can graph it later in my spreadsheet. After they fill it out, go check out the results in your Google Docs inbox. Here's my Google Form. When I open it, it shows when they took the quiz and what answers they gave. Makes it nice for graphing. If you want to edit the form, click on Format, Edit Form, and you can always change it up.